going on everyone darkwater here back in airport ceo last time we got shops bathrooms uh areas for people to charge their laptop little rest areas just kind of sprucing up the uh left hand side of the terminal here um yeah people are looking for more things to do around here but that's okay we will that's starting to creep up a little bit more. Um, went ahead and did change this store out. It's got 3 of 15. So we're going to see about the jewelers. And if this one does do well, we'll probably swap out the remaining uh, three stores to some five-star ones. These are two, two, and one. So we'll probably end up swapping those out. For a little bit more uh, high class stuff. Um, but yeah, last time we were also, need more janitors, researching the emergency response. So that's going to be something that we're going to need to get in place here once we get that researched. I've not done anything with the emergency response before. And train these ones that I hired recently up. Um, so it'll be a learning experience there. If you have any comments, go ahead and drop them below. If you haven't subscribed and you're enjoying the series, definitely uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, so you know when I upload new uh, videos. Um, let's go ahead and do some fencing. We are just going to fence the entire thing in which is gonna be a bit that's okay we've got the cash for it don't need to worry too much about it uh, we'll go ahead and speed things up as well looking up here I am gonna go ahead and add in runways hmm take that back I'm curious as to how long the center spur is going to run. So what do we have the set at? It's currently at 64. So it's going to go to here. So this is going to be the edge of This is going to be the very edge of the. No, there. That yes. Okay. So this is going to be the top most portion of the vertical spur. And now we need to figure out runways. Uh, looks like we've got the emergency response. Yes, we do. So we will get to that in just a bit. Let's... I don't know if I'm going to connect the runways just yet. Is that actually center? Yeah. Okay. Trying to decide how I want to arrange these. So what I'm thinking is one arrival, one departure runway. And I'm thinking about doing one in each direction. The question is how do I want to lay them out? So it's most efficient for the amount of space we have here. So I could do something like this. And 
and run the... Because this would be like a departure. I'm thinking about how the, the taxiways would also be going. Because having it going in one direction would probably be the best way to do it. And then... Oof. Might have to think on that for a little bit. So I'm guessing they're just going to be taking their time building fence. Uh, looks like a lot of it's done, actually, which I'm kind of surprised by. Okay, these guys are fairly efficient. Then maybe it's time to deal with lower level. It might be time to figure out what we were doing down here for parking, as well as for... Uh, just trying to figure out where that foundation was from. As well as for pickup and drop-off. I do have subway entrance. Do I not? Yes, I do. It's gotta be outside, okay. That's good to know. Are we still short on janitors? Yes, we are. So I assume I can do vehicle drop offs down here, yes? This is center. We do one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one little crosswalk area in the middle there. I'm going to do a one way system. I'm having second thoughts on parking garage versus just doing the drop-off area on the top. No, let's go ahead and commit to it. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do drop-off parking, all of it on the lower level. This might be a bad move, but we'll see. Uh, I want to do a row of taxi stops in here. And if we need to, we can change this at a later date. Leaving that center strip for people to be able to uh, basically cross. So we're going to do sidewalk through all of here and so we're gonna do bus stops down on the bottom let's get a concrete public road I don't think I've ever actually done concrete public roads go ahead and do that Take that across and let's get ourselves some crosswalks. Just don't need people getting run over. Go ahead and get two large doors in here. Go ahead and map out our bus stops as well. Contractor side bus stop, there we go. 
we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And same thing on the other side. There we go. Let's get our concrete road in like that. And I think everything down here is just going to be parking. So let's come in with some sidewalk. We're just going to run it all the way down here. Eh, that'll work. Let's get our parking lots going. Ooh, I need to take out this. I forgot, you know, getting cars in and out of parking areas is kind of a, uh, a thing that needs to be done. Even probably squeeze in another one down here, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our sidewalk in. The crosswalks here, here. Oh, well, it needs to be placed on a road, fine. Get a road like that. And a road down here. Okay. I feel that the roads... I may extend out this drop-off area a little bit. I'm actually going to take it down by two. And then we're just going to take it to... Take it to there. Uh, went over three. And down to here. So now I need a... Okay, and lastly, I want Here I'm going to go ahead and do just asphalt, just for aesthetics, because you're coming from asphalt. Uh, this is going to be entrance only. This is going to be an exit only. Uh, we're going to drop down here. We're going to convert these to one-way roads in. Out. Oh, uh, this one. 
Uh, none. We're going to do passenger cars here. Uh, allow none. We're going to do taxis. This one's going to be buses. Nope. Other way around. There we go. You are going to be person cars. And we got a bunch of people already waiting. Now I do need to come through. Nope, not that. I need to change the access side. Actually, just do all of these. There we go. I feel like you guys are going to be waiting a little bit just because uh... oh, you're boarding and taxing. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys are going to be waiting a little bit because they've got a lot of stuff to still do. I'm missing a road piece there. So they're going to go ahead and get that going. Down here, let's go ahead and do a little uh, sprucing up down here. We'll go ahead and just do a bunch of tile. Same as the rest of the airport. There we go. Oh, nope. There we go. Uh, I could potentially do bathrooms down here as well. I missed an entire row down there, didn't I? go and there oh subway that was the other thing I was gonna do bus stop subway entrance Get the subway entrances in as well. That way, people can just take the subway down and out. But people are getting their baggage. Now it's just a matter of, uh, you know, hooking all of this up. We'll give that some time to build. How are you doing? I have not made very many sales. Okay, though, we will get there with due time. Um, I don't have any bathrooms in the main areas here. So maybe we'll do a restaurant bathroom in this area, maybe? Maybe something like that. Uh, see. One, two, one, wall, sink, space, hand dryer, wall. So basically, it'd be here. And then we've got a, a shop in the middle. Or, um, restaurant's probably going to be the better way to go. Uh, just doing two bathrooms just for symmetry. I doubt both will be all that busy. But, we'll go ahead and uh, get these going. These are really big bathrooms that I'm putting in. Sinks in. Yeah, 
hand dryers. And I'm going to do a wall here. We'll go ahead and we'll copy all of that. We'll rotate it around. We'll drop this there. We'll go ahead and open up the bathrooms. Anybody can use them. And let's go ahead and grab some. I think I've just been using this tile, so we'll just kind of stick with it. And in the middle here, we'll go ahead and we just drop a wall in, a wall in, and we'll add some kind of restaurant in there. But it's going to take them a little bit of time to finish this area up. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I'll let them build this out. And next time we'll go ahead and finish the restaurant. Maybe add in some seating down here for people as they're waiting on their baggage. And uh, then they can just go straight out here. We'll probably uh, spend a little bit of time making this a little bit nicer. Uh, maybe adding some seats in here because people are just kind of just hanging out and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And we'll probably maybe even add in some lights. And on that note... How well does lighting work underground? I don't think I've ever tried lighting underground. But we'll do some lighting right there next to the uh, crosswalk so drivers can see and not, you know, kill anybody as they're not paying attention driving to pick up people. So next time we'll go ahead, we'll finish up this area as, well, the waiting area for the baggage, as well as just kind of fine-tuning down here. I just noticed this is off. I will fix that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Look forward to seeing you guys again in Airport CEO. And as always, I hope you guys have yourselves an amazing day. Bye. Uh...